2023 marks the spectacular comeback of SpaceX's Monster Falcon Heavy after a year of dormancy. Most notably, the Super Rocket's fifth launch in December will be a turning point in the relationship between SpaceX and the Air Force. Given that it's the first time Falcon Heavy has served the military mission to carry the secret X-37B spaceplane within the framework of the USS F-52 program. However, while the whole world was holding its breath waiting for the day this super mega rocket made a historic step, bad news appeared. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy encountered a major problem, leading to the USS F-52 mission being continuously delayed. That's unprecedented in SpaceX's launch history. Although insiders have spoken out to explain the reason for the delay, there are still many theories emerged, especially one of them related to politics. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, Let's jump straight into today's episode. As the Starbase team is busy testing the next Starship rocket ahead of Flight 3 in early 2024, the ground teams in Florida appear to be busier with Falcon Heavy's mission scheduled at the end of the year. Being called the United States Space Force 52, USSF-52, the mission that Falcon Heavy served this time involved the orbital flight of the X-37B spaceplane. USS F-52 plays a crucial role in exploring and utilizing space for the security and defense purposes of the United States. In June 2018, the United States military chose to award SpaceX with the responsibility of using the Falcon Heavy Heavy Lift Vehicle to transport this important mission into the designated orbit. The news milestone is quite surprising because it's the first time the company has won its Falcon Heavy contract with the Air Force. SpaceX had originally planned to launch the robotic X-37B on December 11. But about 30 minutes before the scheduled liftoff time that day, the company called things off, citing an issue with ground equipment. The resulting delay will now extend for 17 days if the heavy flies on December 28 as currently planned. News of Falcon Heavy's delay shocked the community because this is indeed the first time that the Falcon Heavy rocket has encountered issues. Additionally, of the more than 90 Falcon 9 and Heavy rockets launches this year, SpaceX has rarely experienced mechanical delays in the majority. So, what actually happened? The postponement was determined due to weather and technical reasons. Weather is something we cannot control, so let's ignore it and move on to the main point. To be honest, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is currently facing technical issues with its rocket system. This includes ground technical issues and rocket technical issues. A high-ranking official from the Space Force spoke about the reasons for this delay. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that just are going to take a little bit more time to work through, said Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into the Horizontal Integration Facility and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior leader in the Space Force overseeing military launches like this, stated that the ground equipment in NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida issue hindering the initial liftoff could potentially be resolved within two working days. However, more time would be needed to address other issues that he declined to specify. We found some things that we need to run some analysis on, so that's what's driving the delay, he said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the X social media platform, SpaceX mentioned that the company had temporarily halted the launch this week to perform additional system checks. So what has broken? We do not know but for the rocket to be sent back to the horizontal integration facility and an almost two-week delay, it has to be pretty serious. Either something at the pad on the rocket or both needs replacing and it isn't a quick one. However, the goal of completing five Falcon Heavy launches by 2023 is still worth looking forward to. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said. But I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. Discussing this unexpected incident, SpaceX fans also gave their own arguments. In response to Horn's saying about the issue on the ground equipment problem that prevented liftoff could be fixed as soon as two days later. But it will take longer to resolve other issues he declined to specify. Some suppose this was just a guess. The mysterious payload within the X-37B might have chemicals, 
cryogenic supplies or batteries that cannot sit for days while the ground equipment problem is resolved. The other question, not saying that it doesn't as we know nothing about the internals of the X-37B, but since we are speculating what kind of chemicals, cryogenic supplies, or batteries would a vehicle whose previous mission had an over 700 day on orbit time need, replenished for a one week pad delay, internal batteries that need solar once on station maybe? But even then, we can't imagine the designers would not have foreseen the possible need for GSA to reach them in the event of a delay. The first answer is, besides batteries, it could have short living experiments on board that are only designed to last a few weeks in space and would be affected by a delay of a week. It could have things that would warm up when staying on the launch pad for too long. It could have experiments that can't be stored in a vertical orientation for an extended time. There is one more additional batteries related opinion that if the payload is not in space, it cannot deploy its own solar panels or draw from X-37B's solar power. Another factor is solid carbon dioxide or liquid nitrogen. Some camera electronics are designed for peak performance at cryo temperatures, typically around the boiling point of liquid nitrogen, but sometimes the sublimation point of solid carbon dioxide. On the ground at one atmosphere pressure, there is too much heat conduction from the air and the liquid nitrogen reserve that is enough to last years boils off in days instead. Of course, one would wonder why the payload designers did not build external battery charge terminals or feed lines for liquid nitrogen, but they might have assumed that the launch would occur on time and not be delayed by a GSE problem. Someone else doubted that the GSA issue was covered by something else. Assumed that this mission relied very heavily on timing, for example, they were expecting a Chinese mission to launch, and this space plane mission was going to observe it. SpaceX rarely has GSA issues these days. Yes. This makes sense because on December 14, China successfully launched a reusable space plane for the third time since 2020 in a series of secretive orbital test flights aimed at developing reusable technologies to reduce costs for space mission. China's launch took place just hours after SpaceX canceled the countdown for the X-37B launch for the third time. Interestingly, China's plan for a reusable space plane called Shenlong coincides with the equally secretive United States program of the autonomous space plane X-37B. Shenlong has completed two missions, with the latest mission lasting 276 days in orbit. Like X-37BE, Shenlong is kept secret, with no widely released images. According to Harvard astronomer McDowell, who tracks rocket launches and space activities notes, it is indeed similar to X-37, he said. Both are in the 5-8 ton mass range, probably about 10 meters long. This clear imitation of the United States model indicates China's interest in similar space capabilities. Therefore, it's not a coincidence that China's space plane planned to launch around the same time as X-37B. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.